Hi me fans this is Manu here from MI India on behalf of our entire team I welcome you to the biggest launch event of the year and we are calling it Into the Future Before we start I sincerely hope all of you guys are safe at this point of time We are seeing an increasingly high number of COVID-19 cases across the world and also in India and I request all of you guys to take precaution wear a mask maintain social distancing and do not step out unless absolutely is necessary Last one year was extremely tough for all of us and also at Xiaomi India but we were still working hard to ensure that all our me fans can enjoy our amazing products. Let's take a pause and look at what all happened in the last one year. When the COVID pandemic started, we did our best to help everyone by donating lakhs of masks to doctors and hospitals and the entire company and team came together to donate 15 crore rupees. We also realized that 50,000 families are dependent on us and many of them were worried about their livelihood. Hence we took a decision that nobody will have to go through a job cut or salary cut because of pandemic. We also saw a massive disruption of global supply chain and despite this we managed to add two new manufacturing plants for smartphones and a new manufacturing plant for smart TVs in India. We also managed to introduce many new product categories such as me notebooks me smartwatch me smart speakers me robo vacuum cleaner and a lot more and we did a lot with a team we announced a special hardship bonus for everyone and recently we were also rated as a great place to work once again for the second consecutive year now since last year both our brands me and redmi have been working fairly independently in the beginning of this year the me brand launched me 10i a product that was designed for india and that has become one of the best selling phones in 20 to 30k price segment and the best selling 5g phone in india and we are here today to launch many more me devices we are not launching one not two not three but four flagship products from the me brand and we believe these flagship products are from the future not only because of certain features that they pack in but also because all of the considerations that we have put in while developing these products for our me fans in india so let's get started with the most premium phone of the year presenting the only super phone the me 11 ultra in the smartphone world there are different categories and when you look at the latest and the best offerings they are called as flagships with the me 11 ultra we believe we have something that goes beyond flagships beyond all possible categories under which we classify smartphones and thus we believe that the me 11 ultra will carve out a whole new category for itself called as the super phone now all of us have seen cars and super cars bikes and super bikes computers and super computers but we haven't seen a super phone yet so what makes a super phone let's start with the first one the best camera setup on a smartphone ever now professional and digital cameras have come a long way a true innovation that has changed the course of human race forever as cameras improved on smartphones it led to more and more people using smartphone cameras as a primary one rather than a professional digital dslr however till now smartphone cameras output was still seen a bit inferior to professional grade cameras and we have made an honest attempt to change that with the Mi 11 Ultra we believe that Mi 11 Ultra is the first phone to bridge the gap between smartphones and DSLR and this is the first phone where you can confidently say that the camera output of a smartphone is comparable to a DSLR introducing the world's first triple primary camera setup the Mi 11 Ultra features three primary camera sensors the 50 megapixel true pixel custom gm2 sensor the world's biggest camera sensor the 48 megapixel ultra wide sony imx 586 world's biggest field of view and a 48 megapixel telephoto sony imx 586 sensor which gives you 120x zoom probably one of the world's biggest zoom This implementation gives you the ability to shoot incredible quality images and videos over a wider focal length range 
which is from 12 mm to 120 mm it is rare to find a triple camera setup across the world and if you look at competition there is nothing which comes even close let us take a closer look at each of the three camera sensors starting with the first one the primary camera of Mi 11 Ultra a 50 megapixel true pixel custom GN2 sensor in order to design a camera sensor suited to our needs we spent over 18 months working with a partner Samsung ISOcell division to co-develop this one of a kind camera sensor the custom GN2 camera sensor is the largest camera sensor ever put on a smartphone it is a 1 by 1.2 camera sensor which is equal to 22.7 mm this is the first time that you have a camera sensor which is almost as big as 1 inch on a smartphone don't believe us take a look here we have some of the finest which are known for great camera setup and mi 11 ultra trumps all of them the large sensor is packed with 50 million pixels and not just any ordinary pixels but huge 1.4 micron true pixel and using pixel binning technology we can also create super pixel of 2.8 micron each so you get best of both the worlds big camera sensor as well as big pixel the large sensor ensures that there is plenty of light coming in even during the harshest of condition and big pixel increase the amount of light being captured thus resulting in some incredibly low light shots and amazing dynamic range the bigger sensor also allows for a creamier shallow depth of field which gives you dslr like bouquet straight out of your camera while the gn2 camera sensor brings in plethora of new improved features some of the improvements are here on your screen starting with the first one the world's first dual pixel pro technology cameras make use of phase difference information on different pixels to enable auto focus while the traditional systems have been good there are certain limitations which are further improved with an all new approach to auto focus this is the first phone where every pixel is divided not only vertically but also diagonally to measure the phase difference not only horizontally but also vertically this along with time of flight sensor on the camera module helps in instant focus across both images and videos now let's talk about the smart iso the new sensor can use different hdr methods depending upon the scene or use cases smart iso pro uses a single capture but each pixel has two readouts with different conversion gains that the camera instantly combines to create a high dynamic range image in any lighting condition third staggered hdr the mi 11 ultra with gn2 sensor uses staggered hdr mode for scenes with high contrast in this mode the sensor captures several frames and then merges them for an optimized result the 50 megapixel true pixel custom gn2 sensor is further aided with optical image stabilization system for blur free photos in low lighting condition and super stabilized videos the gn2 custom sensor also enables 8k hdr10 and 4k hdr10 plus video recording we went ahead and tried to compare this camera with some of the other flagship devices on smartphones across the world and the results are here in front of you across assessments the mi 11 ultra comes on the top with some incredible pictures as compared to other flagships let's move to the second primary camera on the mi 11 ultra it is a 48 megapixel ultra wide camera sensor with a 128 degree field of view this is probably one of the highest field of view on any smartphone ever making use of this camera you can now take even wider shots this is probably the highest field of view on any smartphone ever you also have the ability to shoot 8k video in ultra wide mode leading to some incredibly looking sharp footage 
8K on ultra wide all because of a choice of going through this triple primary camera setup. We compared this ultra wide camera with some of the other flagship devices and the results are here in front of you. Once again, Mi 11 Ultra has the best ultra wide camera in the world. The third primary camera on Mi 11 Ultra is a 48 megapixel periscopic 120x telephoto camera with OIS. The telephoto camera is capable of 5x optical zoom which works beautifully for portrait shots with a very natural bouquet and a unique look. With Mi 11 Ultra, you can achieve a total of 120x zoom, which is probably one of the biggest in the world. And we have also added a moon mode. Similar to the primary camera, even the telephoto camera has optical image stabilization. This comes in really handy for the super zoomed in shots, where even the minutest of hand movements get amplified. You also have the ability to now shoot 8K video in the telephoto mode, using which you can cover more ground by not even moving a bit. As you would have noticed with this one of the kind triple primary camera setup, now you can shoot 8K videos across all three lenses, covering an entire focal length range, starting from 12 mm equivalent to all the way 120 millimeter equivalent. This gives you an incredible flexibility in framing different sequences in your videos. While the triple primary camera setup brings you the ability to shoot 8K across lenses, it also brings you the ability to shoot night mode content across all three lenses. We are looking forward to what all of you would do with this amazing camera setup. While we have revamped the entire internals completely, we have also added a lot of software features that will help you make the most of this incredible camera setup. If you are someone who is learning photography or if you are someone who is very particular about how you frame your images and videos, we have a feature for all of you. Making use of the multi-cam mode now you can get an instant view of all your cameras. Once you pick your frame, you can select two cameras and record the scene simultaneously. You can further go ahead and choose to save these files separately on your device. In addition, you can now use two Mi 11 Ultras to shoot the same scene and merge the footage. The Mi 11 Ultra's triple primary camera setup is the finest camera implementation so far and the DxO ranking validates this claim. I'm super happy to share that Mi 11 Ultra has been ranked the number one smartphone camera in the world by DxO Mark. Meaning it is not only us who believe in the prowess of this camera system, but it has been tested by the best camera review organization that is there in the world, which is DxO. We believe that the Mi 11 Ultra's camera system is truly the best camera system that has ever been built for a smartphone. We also compared Mi 11 Ultra with Sony's point and shoot with a one inch sensor. And here are the results. While the two sensors are comparable in size, the results are far off from each other. As you can see through these images, the dynamic range shot on Mi 11 Ultra is way more nuanced as compared to Sony's point and shoot. If you specially look at the night shots, Mi 11 Ultra has better exposure, better details and more vibrance. It is surprising how good the night shots are on Mi 11 Ultra. The advancements on the rear cameras have come a long way. These developments are only going to grow further. With Mi 11 Ultra, we are bringing you one more feature which is my personal favorite. Introducing the viewfinder display. Mi 11 Ultra also comes with a secondary display, a 2.79 cm, which is 1.1 inch AMOLED touch display that we have put along the side of a camera module. The implementation of this secondary display is an all original approach that we have built over what we tried with Mi Mix Alpha last year. 
while the viewfinder display acts as a mirror for taking selfies using the primary camera, it is also loaded with many many more features. With the viewfinder display, now you can control music, you can have notifications, you can have an always on display, you can interact through the touch screen, you can display a photo frame, you can take selfies in the ultra wide mode and you can also record a 15 second Instagram story while holding the volume button. One, two, go. Now let's talk about super display on the super phone Mi 11 Ultra. We believe this is the best display ever on any smartphone. It is a 6.81 inch 120 hertz WQHD plus E4 super AMOLED display. With the Mi 11 Ultra, we are bringing the latest and the best E4 AMOLED panel. E4 panels are way better than the predecessor E3 panel from the previous generation and now it brings 15% power saving. This panel has a resolution of 1440 is to 3200, which is also termed as WQHD plus or 2K plus resolution. Even after it being a 2K plus display, the display refreshes at 120 Hertz and takes input at 480 Hertz. The display implements a proprietary four-step adaptive sync technology enabling the display to refresh at four different refresh rates 30Hz, 60Hz, 90Hz and 120Hz. This is a quad curve display which is curved on not only the two sides but also on the top and the bottom thus making it probably the most gorgeous display in the world. For the first time we have a 10-bit colors on the Mi 11 Ultra that now allows us to reproduce up to a billion colors on this panel. This is a major step that elevates the entire viewing experience on Mi 11 Ultra. While we have the ability to produce a billion colors, we have further extended it and we are now introducing HDR10 Plus and Dolby Vision on this display. I am happy to share that the display on Mi 11 Ultra has a peak brightness of 1700 nits which is unheard of in the smartphone industry. Mi 11 Ultra also comes with 360 degree ambient light sensor that helps you tune to just the perfect screen brightness in any lighting condition. This display has also been rated as A plus by DisplayMate which is not a big surprise. This display packs in so much and is so vivid that DisplayMate has certified this as one of the best displays in the world. In fact, if you compare it with competition devices, other flagship devices, you can easily make out this is the best display available in the smartphone industry. We compared the display of Mi 11 Ultra with other flagship device and the results are here on your screen. As you can see, nothing comes even close to the display of Mi 11 Ultra. And I can confidently say this is the best display ever on any smartphone. Keeping in mind the importance of holistic sensory experience while watching content, we worked with the legendary audio maker Harman Kardon to tune the stereo speakers on the Mi 11 Ultra. Crisp, clear audio with the potential of filling the room with a wholesome audio. With this audio system, you will discern the new notes in your favorite old tracks. 
Mi 11 Ultra also gets you high res certification for audio. Now let's talk about the performance. When you're building a phone that is unlike of any other smartphone, the choice of processor becomes a clear one. With the Mi 11 Ultra, we wanted to ensure the best of the best experience with respect to performance. And thus we chose the latest and the best which is out there in the market. Qualcomm Snapdragon 888. This is the Qualcomm's latest processor and brings in some serious improvement over the predecessor, especially from the image signal perspective. Let us take a look at how the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 on the Mi 11 Ultra compares against the previous generation flagship processors from the last year. The Mi 11 Ultra comes with Qualcomm Spectra 580 ISP that is 35% faster than the previous generation. It also supports up to 2.7 gigapixels per second computer vision ISP. It comes with Qualcomm Adreno 660 GPU that delivers 35% faster graphics rendering. It also comes with Qualcomm Game Quick Touch that increases responsiveness by up to 20%. This combined with 480Hz of touch sampling is a gaming delight. It comes with Qualcomm Cryo 680 CPU that enables 25% higher performance and incredible power efficiency with a new architecture based on ARM Cortex-X1 technology. The Mi 11 Ultra powered with Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 gives you the best performance and also the best connectivity ever. It gives you newer experiences such as Wi-Fi 6E, which is Wi-Fi extended to the 6 GHz band. It also supports Bluetooth 5.2 stacking and the 5G on Mi 11 Ultra supports 13 different bands which is one of the highest number of bands supported on any flagship across the world. So as soon as we have the 5G rolled out here in India, you will be one of the first ones to start using it with your favorite super phone Mi 11 Ultra. The Mi 11 Ultra powers it all using a huge 5000 mAh battery that can be charged at 67 watt with a wired or a wireless setup. The phone also supports a 10 watt of wireless reverse charging and a 5 watt of wired reverse charging. We are introducing a new technology with the battery by taking learnings from other industries such as EVs. We are introducing silicon oxygen anode on the battery in conjunction with a dual split charge technology that improves the capacity and reduces the charge time. With the Mi 11 Ultra, you can charge your phone from 0 to 100% in just 36 minutes and you get a day's worth of power under 15 minutes. That's incredible, isn't it? Mi fans, Mi 11 Ultra supports 67 watt of both wired and wireless charging. However, due to some certification issues, the India variant will have a 55 watt charger in the box. Be assured, we are working very hard to bring the 67 watt charger to India as soon as possible. The Mi 11 Ultra is probably one of the most gorgeous devices that you will find in the world. In the world of flagships made of glass, we wanted to give you something special. And hence, the Mi 11 Ultra bag is made of modern ceramic material, which is one of the most premium and exquisite materials. It not only gives a great feel, but it also makes it very robust. It comes in two different colors, the ceramic white and the ceramic black, inspired by the two most fundamental dualities that we see around us. The simplicity is extended all across our design considerations and the look on the phone is very minimalistic and gorgeous. The display is protected with the very best from the Corning, the Corning Gorilla Glass Victus. This is one of the first few phones to have Corning Gorilla Glass Victus, which makes it a lot more sturdy. It gives 2x protection against scratches and 1.5x protection against the drops as compared to the previous generation. And that makes the experience on Mi 11 Ultra unlike any other flagship. The Mi 11 Ultra is also the first phone from the house of Xiaomi to have an IP68 rating, which is the highest quality standard. This is also a waterproof phone you can dip it into water up to 1.5 meters, up to 30 minutes and nothing will happen to your Mi 11 Ultra. 
So that's the Mi 11 Ultra, the first super phone in the world. Now let's talk about the pricing. In some of the global markets, Mi 11 Ultra has been launched in two different configurations, 8 GB RAM and 256 GB storage, and 12 GB RAM, 256 GB storage. But we believe for our India Mi fans, we need to bring the Ultra configuration of Mi 11 Ultra, which is 12 GB of RAM and 256 GB of storage. And the Ultra configuration of 12 GB, 256 GB is being launched at only Rs 69,999. This will be available very soon and we will be sharing the exact details on our social media channels. So stay tuned. So that was the first device of the day, the super phone Mi 11 Ultra. Now moving on to the second device for all of you guys. This is a device that I absolutely love, our most premium flagship TV ever. And I think this is a device that can be called as theater of tomorrow. And to talk more about this, let me call on stage my colleague, Sudeep Sahu. Over to you, Sudeep. Thank you, Manu. It's going to take some doing to follow the Mi 11 Ultra. But I think I've got just the right product for the job. So yes, Mi fans, today I'm super excited to talk about a next generation flagship TV from the house of Mi TV. But first, let's take a quick recap of what we have managed to achieve so far. And that's thanks entirely to all of you guys out there. Mi TV has changed the smart TV landscape here in India. And we have made great TV technology accessible to everyone. The smart TV penetration has grown from 18% before our entry into the Indian market to over 55% today. And we have been India's number one smart TV brand for 11 consecutive quarters now. That's almost three years and nearly all the way from our entry back in February 2018. Since then, we have shipped over 6 million TVs. That's right, 60 lakhs unit. And we're equally committed to the Make in India program here in India. 100% of our smart TVs today are locally made in Indian factories. And we are extremely proud to announce that our latest flagship that we're going to talk about today will also be made here in India. In December last year, we launched our 55-inch Mi QLED TV which was our best TV yet in terms of premium flagship technology. Our media colleagues and all of you Mi fans absolutely love this TV. This is also the best-selling QLED TV on Flipkart. But today, we're taking a giant step further with the TV we are calling the Theater of Tomorrow, presenting the Mi QLED TV 75. Now, why it is called the Theater of Tomorrow? Well, we have been listening to our Indian consumers and especially to all of our Mi fans. And we know that you have been looking to get your hands on a TV with the most premium technology, bigger displays and all around immersive experience similar to what you find in a cinema hall. This need has now been amplified due to the prevailing situations and a new way of life that we're still adapting to. We know consumers are therefore looking to bring home a large screen premium sound experience that's coupled with the beautiful immersive visuals to try and recreate the same cinematic experience at home. And since TVs are also a long-term investment, consumers deserve tech today that is ready for the future. We have heard you and considered all of these factors. And so today, we're launching the Mi QLED TV 75. This is our biggest and the most advanced TV yet to recreate the theater experience right in your living room that will stand the test of time. It truly is the theater of tomorrow. Now, how big is a 75-inch TV really? Well, it's really, really big. Let me give you some perspective. Remember our 55-inch QLED TV? Well, it would take almost two of them to cover the area of the 75-inch TV. That's right twice the screen size of the 55-inch QLED TV. And if you take a Mi LED TV 32-inch, it'll take not two, not four, but six of them to fill the area of 75-inch TV. We have worked very hard and closely with all of our partners to whom we are very grateful to make this product here in India. And yes, to reiterate, 
the Mi QLED TV 75 inch will be made here in India. Now let's talk about design. The Mi QLED TV 75 comes with the all new design that exudes luxury. We have designed the TV keeping premium aesthetics in mind and show ensuring that it elevates your living space whether on or off. It comes with a premium metallic alloy frame with minimal bezels. To be specific, the TV has 97% screen to body ratio giving it a clean all screen appearance whether on the wall or on the table. To further the aesthetics and balance, we have designed an all new premium stand that ensures perfect balance for such a large screen TV which also adds an aesthetic dimension to it. This almost floating airborne design gives the surreal impression of a large canvas levitating in the middle of your living room. To top things off, the back of the TV is covered with a film of carbon fiber to round off the premium design, even when you see it from the back. Next, let's talk about my favorite section, the display. And I'm kicked to announce that this TV comes with many amazing new inclusion in this department. Firstly, the Mi QLED TV comes with a 4K QLED panel. The Q in QLED owes its name to quantum dots. These quantum dots absorb energy from a light source and release pure monochromatic red, green and blue light. The result is an amazing leap in picture quality with 100% color volume and unmatched saturation with deeper black levels. And the QLED technology brings two key advantages, wider color range and purer well-saturated colors. This is also our first TV that comes with a 120Hz refresh rate panel. This coupled with our proprietary Reality Flow 120 ensures a seamless and smooth viewing experience even if you're watching maybe 24 or 48Hz content on your TV. Needless to say, this feature is really useful for fast-paced content like sports or playing games on your favorite console. The Mi QLED 75 also comes with full array local dimming technology. This is another first from the house of Xiaomi. Now full array local dimming ensures that the TV gives you the most amazing contrast to complement the brilliant colors supported by the 4K QLED panels that's underlining the display technology. With full array local dimming, the TV comprises of hundreds of LEDs which are divided into zones. We have 192 of these zones which is almost double the number offered by premium competition models. The more the zones, the more granular is the control over the contrast across the huge 75 inch screen. This technology shines even more when you use it with HDR technology. And we have packed all the popular ones here. Dolby Vision, HDR10, HDR10 Plus, and even Hybrid Log Gamma. High dynamic range technology ensures best possible picture quality and is as real as it can get as far as imaging goes. All of this ensures that you get to watch your favorite content while it looks at its best. But then we have done something more. Our special sauce to make our TVs unique and a little more special than the rest of the playing field. And that is the Vivid Picture Engine, which is our in-house tuning that brings all of this incredible display technologies together. This entails a lot of effort and it is tuned only after watching hundreds of hours of content across multiple content platforms to find the best formula for your viewing pleasure. And next, let's talk about sound. The Mi QLED TV 75 inch comes with 30 watts of speaker enabled by six drivers that can support Dolby Audio and DTS HD. But what makes this speaker better than the rest? Well, it's the combination of the industrial design structure and the tuning that we do here at Xiaomi. This six speaker setup comprises of two tweeters, two full range drivers and two woofer drivers. This is coupled with a huge one liter speaker cavity that ensures a fuller sound that envelops your living room and complements those sharp visuals on screen. Now, let's talk about what makes a TV. Patch wall is one of the main reasons why our smart TVs are so popular. All of the incredible tech that we have covered so far is meaningless in today's age without a special focus on the content consumption experience. Patchwall is India's most intuitive smart TV experience you can get. 
we have integrated over 25 content partners across various genres. And we all know about the many cumulative hours you must spend on just finding the right content to watch. What's the point of a theater when there's nothing great to watch on it? Some of the popular features are universal search, which works across platforms, kids mode, smart recommendation, language universe, user center, India's top 10, and much more. User Center is our latest addition and is a one-stop shop to find latest trailers, content offers, and access all your apps, including our all-new Mi Home app. Yes, this is the first Mi TV that is compatible with the Mi Home app. With Mi Home app, you can control all our AIoT products right from the TV. This app is designed to provide a seamless experience when it comes to controlling all your favorite Mi Smart products like the Mi Security Camera, the Mi Smart Bulbs, the Mi Air Purifier, and our latest Mi Robo Vacuum Cleaner. Finally, let's get to why this TV is your best bet for the future. This TV comes with HDMI 2.1 connectivity that gives an audio on channel, also known as Spark. It also has auto low latency mode that automatically switches to the game mode on TV with the lowest possible latency. We know most gamers love all things speed and I'm sure they will appreciate this feature. Now, let me show you something cool. Something you'll appreciate even in the future. Okay Google, play latest Bollywood songs. That's right, you don't need to use the remote anymore to start watching your favorite TV shows, movies or anything else. Just tell your TV what you want to watch and let it do the rest. This is the beauty of the Farfield mics on the Mi QLED TV75 and the hands-free Google Assistant. You can do almost everything that you could do with a Mi remote. And by the way, you can also turn off the mics with the press of a mute button present at the bottom of the TV. The hands-free experience doesn't just stop with this feature. We are super excited to announce that the Mi QLED TV75 will be our first TV that works with Alexa. With this feature, you can use your existing Echo devices like Echo Dot to talk to our TV and to perform a range of functions that brings convenience to your life. This feature will be rolled out later this month as an OTA update. All of that makes a really well-rounded, future-ready experience on the Mi QLED TV 75. I'm happy to share that the chip on this TV is a powerful 64-bit quad-core A55 processor coupled with Mali G52 MP graphics that ensures smooth navigation and quick app launches. It also comes equipped with 2 GB of RAM that helps you easily breeze through your everyday activities. In terms of storage, you get a 32 GB of internal storage space that ensures you have ample room to install all your favorite apps and games from the Play Store. The Mi QLED TV 75 comes with Android TV 10 that has access to Play Store which has over 5,000 plus apps and games. You also get features like Chromecast built in so that you can cast from multiple apps across various devices to the TV with just a tap of a button. So that was it, our most advanced smart TV yet and one that I'm extremely proud to launch today. Let's do a quick recap of everything that the amazing Mi QLED TV 75 has to offer. The Mi QLED TV 75 comes with a massive 75 inch 4K QLED display, reality flow 120Hz for buttery smooth visuals, 192 full array local dimming zones, 30W stereo speakers with Dolby Audio, hands-free Google Assistant via Farfill mics, a premium design with 97% screen to body ratio and the latest patch wall with Android TV 10. Now let's take a look at how our TV compares with the existing competition in terms of QLED TVs in this category. As you can see, not only we are comparable with most of the specs available with the competition, we have advantages in key functional areas like Dolby Vision compatibility, more local dimming zones and an improved sound output. As you can see, the competition is steeply priced at over 3.5 lakh Indian rupees. We are happy to say the Mi QLED TV 75 will be available at 1,19,999. What's more, we have also lined up some exciting offers at the launch date. You can get up to 7,500 discount on the Mi QLED TV 75 with HDFC Bank credit card along with easy EMI options. Now that makes for quite a steal if you ask me. 
You can buy the Mi QLED TV 75 starting April 27th from Mi.com, Mi Homes and Flipkart. So that was it. The Mi QLED TV 75 is a product we are extremely proud of. It's a product that we brought to the market after listening to all our Mi fans and consumers, all of whom were looking for a more premium, big screen viewing experience. And we really hope that you like what you've seen today. And now to talk about the next product, which I'm sure you're all excited about. Let me call Sumit. Now I know you might be thinking what else could be still interesting after having seen the super phone, the Mi 11 Ultra and the 75 inch QLED TV, which I truly believe is the theater of tomorrow. Well, I believe that the next product in line from the Mi lineup is equally interesting, if not more. I am here to talk about the brand new X series which we are adding under the Mi smartphone portfolio today. The X-Series to us is a set of refined, practical flagships which are thin and light, carry the top-of-the-line processor and display panels to amplify your everyday experiences. These practical flagships are built on a newer set of principles that keeps in mind the ever-evolving needs of our modern-day consumers. This time around, we wanted to bring you a device that breaks the monotony of the flagship segment and lets you experience a breath of fresh tech. We are launching two new smartphones under the Mi 11 X series, the Mi 11 X and the Mi 11 X Pro. Let me start by telling you that these two phones share a lot of good things in common. The gorgeous flagship E4 AMOLED display, which has been spoken about a lot. The stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos support, IP rating and its gorgeous new design. But the same goodness is shared and offered in two different processor and camera configurations. Now you may ask, why two different phones? The simple answer is, more choices for our Mi fans. These configuration changes, if you look at it, are unlike a RAM module swap to move up from a 4GB RAM to an 8GB RAM. These are actually hardware level changes and thus result in two different phones. Now I understand that smartphone product launches can sometimes get a bit overwhelming. So for the sake of simplicity, going forward, we will call out the names of the smartphones on the side while we speak about a particular variant. A couple of days back, I read a very interesting quote on the internet that goes like, everything is designed, few things are designed well. This was around the same time when I was learning more about the Mi 11X series and this quote actually stayed with me. With the Mi 11X series, we have spent a lot of time going over the numerous ways in which we could have designed this phone. These considerations have resulted in an offering unlike any other from the house of Mi. Both the phones of the Mi 11X series are built on the same design principle. Let's start by taking a closer look at the form factor and the build that is identical across these two smartphones. In the first glance itself, you will notice how refined this design is. On the back, you will see a brand new elongated camera housing with elements inside distributed even more evenly to give you a cleaner look. The camera housing also now sits almost flushed into the body which reduces the chances of accidental scratches and adds to that overall premium hand feel. Another subtle yet striking detail that we bet you can't ignore is a cosmetic touch near the main camera sensor. We are calling this the Halo Ring, which in my opinion gives an overall personality to this already confident design. Another crucial element is the color of the device itself. With the Mi 11X series, you get three classic yet fresh color options to choose from. Our flagship color, Celestial Silver. Now this color has been a conversation starter amongst family and friends because its appearance varies every time. Now to build this color, we took a different approach. Solid colors like red and blue, we made the base of this color a mix of gradient red and gradient blue. With varying lighting conditions, it refracts a varied gradient of that color composition which is unique every single time. Now if you are someone who appreciates intelligent design, I am sure you will love this. In addition to this, the Mi 11X series will also be available in two more colors, Luna White and the Cosmic Black. Now if you are someone who loves a frosted matte finish, you can choose from Celestial Silver and Luna White. The first time you will hold this device, you will also notice how light it is. 
I know the definition of light has changed over a period of time with larger sensors and bigger batteries adding to the bulk, but we have managed to reduce the overall weight yet pack in the same goodness on battery and camera performance. Weighing just 196 grams, it is 22 grams lighter than our 2020 flagship which was the Mi 10. It is not just the weight that you will notice, you will also notice how thin the overall profile is. At just 7.8 mm thin, the X series devices are around half a millimeter thinner than the recently launched OnePlus 9 series devices. As a package, you will immediately notice that the thinner profile merged with a lightweight chassis and a 3D curved back just enhances the overall hand feel. Now I have seen so many Mi fans asking for a slim and light flagship smartphone. I think this series, the X series, is an answer to all those wishes. While design is an important aspect of our experience, displays actually define the most of it. Having seen and learned more about the design and the build of the Mi 11 X series, let us now see what makes the display of the Mi 11 X series a display of excellence. The displays on the Mi 11 X and the Mi 11 X Pro are identical. Just like the Mi 11 Ultra, we are also bringing the flagship grade E4 AMOLED display to the X series. Now I call the E4 a flagship display for a variety of reasons. Let me just take you through it. At 1300 nits peak brightness, this is one of the brightest displays on today's flagships. A brighter display leads to a better uncompromised viewing experience under harsh lighting conditions or even under direct sun for that matter. The E4 panel also offers better viewing angles which adds to an overall pleasant experience. With 120Hz of refresh rate and 360Hz of touch sampling, this flagship display is also the smoothest and the most accurate when it comes to touch response. The UI overall feels smooth, it's fluid than ever and everything seems to move seamlessly. The important thing to note here is the support of 3 finger 360Hz of touch sampling rate which allows for faster response or operations in high FPS games. Now no guesses here. The Mi 11 X series displays are also HDR10 Plus compliant. Unlike HDR10 which has color and brightness settings fixed on all frames, HDR10 Plus treats each frame of the video for color, brightness and contrast parameters. This real-time processing delivers lifelike viewing experience through dynamic tone mapping of each and every frame. Now before I go on talking more about this flagship display, like I mentioned earlier, the focus of the X series was to create a more practical flagship. Across the entire tech community, we have always seen the battle between curved displays versus flat displays. Some people preferred the curved display, whereas some went for flat displays as they were more practical and reduced ghost touches. Now, we were listening all along. And as we have always said that we work with our communities across the globe before we define any product. With the Mi 11 X series in particular, we are introducing an option that a majority of our users prefer, a flat display, which helps in reducing ghost touch and is considered more practical. Now, you might not have noticed the notch, which is how we intend to keep things. This here is one of the industry's smallest punch hole implementations measuring at just 2.76 mm. Now it is so tiny that I know it is difficult to visualize it. So let me put this in comparison with a few other competition flagship devices. We believe that this is a small step towards delivering a more immersive video and gaming experience allowing you to almost ignore the front camera. The display on the Mi 11 X series is also one of the most color accurate displays you will come across amongst today's flagship smartphones. The numbers which you see on your screen are two metrics which are used to define how color accurate your display is. Just noticeable color difference and delta E figures here 
which are well below 1 represents that there is almost no noticeable difference in color between your display and the original source. To further fine-tune this beautiful display, we are also adding a dedicated ambient light sensor on board to basically map the brightness and color temperature of your surroundings. With the help of the sensor, the phone can automatically understand and calibrate the brightness as well as the color temperature of your display to your overall surrounding. By the way, the adjustments on the color temperature on the screen to the color temperature of your ambient light also helps in reducing eye strain. The new E4 grade AMOLED display also consumes less power which is up to 15% while delivering a rich viewing experience. Now in a scheme of things where all components are power hungry, it's good to see a component delivering a visual treat quite literally yet optimizing on battery life. While we were at making the best display in the game, we also built a small something which I know all our fans will appreciate. I'm sure that you would have landed in a situation where you want to watch a video on YouTube or even natively, but because of the low res file being hosted or being available on your device, you have ended up just listening to that video rather than watching. Now we have tried fixing this with super resolution. Super Resolution automatically detects low resolution content and uses artificial intelligence to make the picture sharper in real time. Now by optimizing sharpness and shadowing of the content, you will see finer results without even realizing. Now a display this good had to bring in some awards. To our surprise, it set 11 records and rated A plus under extensive display tests conducted by DisplayMate. Now most people will just stop at showing you this A plus rating, but we are so confident of this display that we want to show you its full potential. Across measurements from image shift to peak luminance to absolute color accuracy, this display outperforms every single time. Complementing this flagship display is also a dedicated stereo speaker setup. The 11X series brings Dolby Atmos for the very first time to the lineup of Mi smartphones in India to deliver a premium audio experience. As you know already, Dolby Atmos is a surround sound technology that brings 3D cinematic experience over both headphones and stereo speakers. It helps in delivering richer audio experience for movies, music and even voice. The device also supports high resolution audio over both wired and wireless connections. That said, I believe the coolest new feature which comes with the Mi 11X Pro in terms of audio is Bluetooth stacking which allows you to play audio on two connected devices at the same time. Now this means that you can have two sets of wireless earbuds connected and playing at the same time which is great whenever you are traveling or working out with your friend or for streaming audio to separate speakers in separate rooms. Now I spoke earlier that the Mi 11X series devices are thin and light devices. But then does it compromise on battery performance? Does it? Actually no. It offers a 4520 milliamp hour battery which goes from 0 to 100 in less than an hour and 0 to 50% in a whopping 19 minutes with a 33 watt charger in box which supports dual split charge. Now you might ask, what's that? What's dual split charge? Now both you and I know that passing large amounts of current for rapid charging continuously over days and months hampers the overall lifetime of a battery. We built a new way to charge the battery faster but by splitting the flow of current into two instead of just passing the current from one side. By doing this, we achieve faster charge cycles without affecting the overall longevity of the battery and delivering a reliable overall experience over years. The Mi 11X series also carries an official IP53 rating which adds further protection against dust and limited water resistance. This means that even if dust enters the smartphone, which can be a common scenario, it cannot affect the inner workings of your smartphone. Every year, we see millions of devices getting affected by dust ingress and I believe an official IP rating on your next flagship smartphone makes a lot of sense. IP53 also adds limited water resistance 
against spraying water which can be a situation in showers near the pool but with no pressure these flagship phones also feature Corning's Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and the back to take care of those unintended bumps and offers better scratch resistance. Up until now, I have spoken all about the similarities between the Mi 11X and the Mi 11X Pro which are appearing on your screen right now. Now that you know the similarities between these two devices, let's now talk about the differences. Starting with the Mi 11X Pro. Mi 11X Pro shares the same top-of-the-line Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 which also appears on the super phone the Mi 11 Ultra which Manu covered in detail during his presentation. This 800 series 5G chipset can actually transform your device into a professional quality camera with its computer vision ISP an intelligent personal assistant with its 6th generation AI engine which we also call as Hexagon 780 and an elite gaming ring powered by the largest Cortex CPU, the X1. All connected with truly global 5G multi-gigabit speed for the premium experiences that you deserve. Compared to the previous generation, the 888 renders graphics up to 35% faster. Like I mentioned before, the 888 also features the 6th generation AI engine which is Hexagon 780 which delivers up to 26 trillion operations per second. Now you have heard the term AI so many times but you still might ask, where exactly is the AI engine useful? If you use any of these features on your phone shown on the screen right now, you are tapping into the AI engine of your processor. On board, along with the Snapdragon 888, the performance is further boosted by using UFS 3.1 as the memory standard and LPDDR5 RAM. In India, the Mi 11X Pro will be available in two variants, 8GB RAM and 128GB of UFS 3.1 storage and 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. Your Mi 11X Pro is also a future-ready device with its integrated X65G model. Once 5G is rolled out in India, you can use 5G SIM cards on both the SIM slots. Dual SIM standby functionality on 5G basically allows you to seamlessly switch between two carriers to get the best experience. In addition to that, you also see the support for Wi-Fi 6E. Now here, the E stands for Enhanced, which further reduces latency and delivers superior performance in terms of coverage and speed. Now before we move on to Mi 11X, let's talk about the studio level cameras on the Mi 11X Pro. The Mi 11X Pro features the flagship 3rd generation HM2 108MP sensor. Now because of this sensor being the largest amongst the competition, it captures more light per pixel and merged with the future of computational photography, the Spectra 580 ISP, it can deliver some outstanding results. Even under challenging lighting conditions, the sensor automatically moves to a bigger pixel size by joining 9 surrounding pixels. It helps capture more light in limited time to again deliver some sharp looking shots. With the Mi 11X Pro, you can also shoot 8K footage and 4K footage up to 60 frames per second. By the way, and before we miss it, you might have noticed this tiny speck here. That tiny speck is the third microphone, which while shooting videos helps with cutting out the frequencies captured already by the primary microphone and the noise cancelling microphone and focuses only on what matters the most, your subject. Now without this feature, a typical smartphone would be forced to capture all resulting frequencies which we both know sounds absolutely terrible. Coming back to the primary 108 megapixel sensor, it is now complemented by an ultra-wide camera fitted with a wide 119 degree field of view lens to capture the bigger picture. Now from going wide to going closer. The last lens on this camera housing is a 50mm telemacro lens which has the power of capturing stories from a much closer and a much intimate perspective. We are also introducing night mode across all the cameras which has been a big ask from our community. Not just that, we are also introducing a brand new feature which completely redefines the video making experience under challenging lighting conditions. 
Ultra night video is a result of a big algorithm when run together can produce some never seen results shot on a smartphone. With the world moving fast towards video content, it also pushes us as a team to introduce brand new camera features and fuel our users creativity. While we have retained your favorite features like long exposure and magic clone, we are also adding a brand new feature called movie effect. With six different modes such as magic zoom and time freeze, we are sure that your Mi 11X Pro would be buzzing with incoming likes. You will also see the brand new Pro time lapse feature which gives you greater control in terms of shutter speed, ISO and white balance. On the front, you get a 20 megapixel selfie camera with electronic image stabilization and front voice focus feature to deliver crisper vocals even in selfie videos. The next in line flagship and we believe the dominator this segment has been waiting for is the Mi 11X. The Mi 11X features the brand new Qualcomm Snapdragon 870 from the top tier 800 series of Qualcomm Snapdragon chipsets. Now this chip is fast. With a dedicated prime core clocked at 3.2 GHz, it just blazes through the day-to-day -day tasks. Clocked at 3.2 GHz, this prime core is also the fastest when compared against the flagship chipsets which are available in the market today. If we just compare it with the 2020 flagship processor which was the Snapdragon 865, the 2021 Snapdragon 870 delivers up to 12% better CPU performance. Not just that, you can also expect up to 10% further improvement on GPU performance. I mean, just look at these benchmarking scores. A brand new chip delivering some outstanding results. The memory and the RAM standards remain the same across the board. The ultra-fast UFS 3.1 and LPDDR5 RAM, which we also saw earlier being utilized on the Mi 11 Ultra and the Mi 11X Pro. The Mi 11X will be available in two variants in India, 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage and 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. Let's talk cameras on the Mi 11X. It features a 48 megapixel Sony IMX582 as the primary camera which is supported by an 8 megapixel ultra wide and a 5 megapixel tele macro in a triple camera setup. Extending our commitment of Make in India, I can also proudly say that these devices have been made in India for the world. The Mi 11X will also carry localized support for dual assistance which will allow the user to set up a voice assistant of their choice and will also carry support for Navic which is an independent regional navigation satellite system being developed in India. Let's now talk about pricing and availability before I hand it over to Manu to sum up today's mega launch event. The pricing for the Mi 11X 6GB plus 128GB variant is 29,999 only. And the pricing for the Mi 11X 8GB RAM and 128GB storage is just 31,999 only. Now let's talk about the pricing for the Mi 11X Pro. The 8GB plus 128GB variant will be available in India starting at a price of 39,999 only. And the pricing for Mi 11X Pro, 8GB of RAM and 256GB storage is just Rs 41,999 only. So that was all about the Mi 11X series. See you at the next edition of Into the Future. Over to you, Manu. Thank you so much, Sumit. That was a great presentation by both Sudeep and Sumit. So Mi fans, these are the four flagship products that we are launching today. Three smartphones and a premium smart TV. Starting with the super phone, Mi 11 Ultra, a phone which has so many firsts in the worlds of smartphones. World's first primary triple camera setup with 50 megapixel plus 48 megapixel plus 48 megapixel. Probably the best display and the most powerful processor Qualcomm Snapdragon 888. We also have Mi 11X Pro which is also powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 888. One of the best displays available in the market and 108 megapixel camera sensor. 
and we have Mi 11X, which is almost identical to Mi 11X Pro with a 48 megapixel camera sensor and Qualcomm Snapdragon 870. And we are also launching Mi QLED TV 75, which is probably the most advanced and most premium smart TV that you can buy in India. It is a 75 inch screen with QLED technology, Dolby Vision, and has a refresh rate of 120 Hertz. So these are the four incredible flagship devices that we're launching today. Me fans, thank you so much for joining in today. I hope all of us stay safe. Thank you so much. Take care. See you in the future. Hey guys, thank you for sticking by. I hope you really enjoyed our mega flagship launch today. I'm here to talk about MIUI. Now we know that a lot has been spoken about it in the recent past, but for today's discussion, we will categorize them into three buckets. Number one, ads. Number two, as we know it, bloat or bloatware. And number three, system optimizations. We will also be speaking briefly about MIUI 12.5, which I will cover in the later half of this video. To speak about these three elements, we have decided to unbox and set up the brand new Mi 11X, which I know a lot of you are excited for. We'll be using the brand new Mi 11X as an example to talk about these three points, which I mentioned earlier. So let's get this started. Here is the brand new Mi 11X. Let's quickly unbox this and start the setup process. Now in the box, you will see the device itself, a protective case, a 33 watt charger which supports dual split charge which I just spoke about and a SIM ejector pin along with all the other important documents. Let's start with booting up the device and initiate the setup process. Your Mi 11X features MIUI 12 which is based on Android 11. Select your preferred language. Choose your region and accept the terms and conditions. The device will now quickly check for your SIM card. Let me skip this for this discussion. Connect it to your Wi-Fi network. I will again skip this for this discussion. On the next screen, you will find the Google services, basically terms and conditions, which will talk about location usage and device maintenance. Let's accept these and continue. You now get the option to set up the password. If you want to add your fingerprint for faster unlocking, then this is your screen. I will skip this as well. All right, hold up. Let's talk about this screen in particular, which is called additional settings. Now you will see a mention here called personalized ads. Now, what does this even mean? Now, most of our users already know and can vouch for this, that there are no ads, zero ads on Mi smartphones. This includes our last year flagship launches, which included the Mi 10 and the Mi 10T series, and the 2021 launches, which were the Mi 10i, just launched the Mi 11X series, and the super phone, which is the Mi 11 Ultra. Now, this toggle, which you see, is common across all the MIUI ROMs, which are available globally. Because Mi smartphones in India carry no ads, you can either ignore this toggle or switch it off. That's completely up to you. Now, the second thing which you will notice is Glance for me. Now, you might have heard of Glance already. Glance basically offers the ability to deliver brand new wallpapers and personalized content in your favorite language each time you pick up your phone. This is 100% optional and basis your needs. You can toggle this off or on. If you want to enable it later, you can find it under settings and then under lock screen. Now choose your default launcher style. Just like you, I also prefer the app drawer style because it looks more cleaner and it is more easier when it comes to finding apps. Let me select that. Now your setup is complete, super quick and super easy. We believe that there are certain apps under Get Apps which will significantly add to your overall smartphone experience. And you might see us recommending this while you set up your phone. You and I make the most of our phones via the apps which we have installed our phones. Now, sometimes you might even say that our app list defines who we are as an individual. It's so reflective of our lifestyle. 
While most of these apps are found under one roof, which is basically the Google Play Store, we are also bringing you more options with GetApps. With this additional repository of applications, you can now find newer use cases with your devices. We would love for you to try Get Apps out, but you can also choose to ignore it. All the other apps which you see on your screen right now, in addition to Get Apps, are just system apps, just like the Gallery, the Security, Cleaner, Google Play Store, and the Google Suite of Apps. For a cleaner look, you can also choose to remove these from your home screen. Now moving on to the second screen, you will find Notes, the Weather app, the Calendar and other tools such as QR Code Scanner, Downloads tab, Compass and the fan favorite Mi Remote because your phone comes with an IR blaster. To help you get started quickly, the only other apps which are preloaded on your phone and I don't think you would consider them as bloat or bloatware would be the biggest social networking platforms such as Facebook and LinkedIn your favorite content apps such as Netflix and Prime Video, and your favorite shopping app which is Amazon Shopping. Along with that, you will also see the support for Mi Credit. Now, Mi Credit is Xiaomi's official lending platform which offers instant personal loans with easy application process. Please note that this is not a third-party app and you can also choose to uninstall it. The choice basically is yours. Now I spoke about MIUI 12.5 earlier. Our India team is working day and night to initiate the MIUI 12.5 rollout in India. You will soon see us speaking about the device list and the rollout plan on our social channels. So make sure that you follow them. Now look at MIUI 12.5 as an intermediate update based on MIUI 12, which focuses especially on bringing system optimizations, which you guys have been asking for. Let me highlight two of our biggest efforts. In order to deliver an optimized system experience, we have basically rewritten the entire UI, which reduces the core scene memory usage by 20%. And in recent tests, CPU usage is reduced by up to 22%, while the power consumption is reduced by up to 15%. This basically lets you enjoy a lighter, smoother experience with significantly longer battery life. We believe that this is something all our Mi fans would truly, truly love. With MIUI 12.5, most system apps can actually be uninstalled, as we can see here right in the middle. Some app packages which are actually included in the system core, their app icons as well could be now hidden. Compared to all the other operating systems, MIUI 12.5 is as simple as it gets. If you don't want it, simply uninstall it. The option is yours. So that was all from my side. I hope you found this information useful. This is Sumit signing off today's mega mega launch and I will see you in the next one.